Hello and welcome to this playthrough video of uh, Lucas Gentry's uh, Fantasy Form. Uh, it's a new button shy game uh, currently on Kickstarter. Uh, this will be a uh, full playthrough of the game, it's not a review. Um, uh, Luke is one of my mates so I'm obviously going to love this game. Uh, so you're not going to get an impartial uh, review of it but you will get a playthrough. Um, this uh, it's a the spiritual successor to Lucas's other um, game called Spaceship, and uh, it's solo only uh, in the usual button shy way. It is uh, eighteen cards only. Uh, the aim of the game, or the the uh, flavor text, or the introduction to the game says, alchemists study the secrets of transforming their bodies into powerful elemental forms capable of impossible feats. A rival alchemist seeks to abuse his ability of their own, for their own gain. Push your skill to the limits to defeat them before they reach their full power. Okay, so you're going to be playing the, uh, the role of uh, the good alchemist here, and this is their initial form. And to try and beat the dark alchemists and through uh, throughout the game you may uh, take on other thought forms and the dark alchemist will take on a form so you're gonna need to um, need to build up your uh, shards and things to to fight against them okay so let's uh, set up in the game and as I said before it's 18 cards only. Uh, this is obviously a print and play version. That's why I've sleeved it. Sorry about that. Um, but uh, and I've um, was given access to this uh, print and play file color version um, so that I could do this video and so that I could play test the game as well. The uh, if you check out the Kickstarter page, there is a uh, a free uh, black and white copy, I think, of the uh, of the game. So this is our alchemist, and this is uh, and you see these numbers down the side here. This is their health, and you track it with one of your other um, items that you have. Uh, most of the the starting cards have this little star in the corner, so you know that these are the cards you can kind of start with. So here's our alchemist and our first um, piece of equipment is the torch. Once per turn you may look and at the back of the rightmost card in the ethereal row. Uh, so that's very useful. Uh, so that's our start. Let me just uh, set him up here. Uh, so we start on five. Uh, we also start with a companion here, the guide. And the guide once per turn, you may move the rightmost card of the ethereal row to the left end of the ethereal row. So the the guide and the torch work really well together. Unlike um, in spaceship, there are kind of different levels which you can start at. This is you'll see the the draft rules. Um, this is a pre kind of pre release version of the game. So. Uh, some of the art may change, some of the text may change, all those sorts of things, even some of the rules may change, but um, we do have kind of a uh, difficulty level you can start at. Uh, shards are our currency in the game, and um, I'm going to start with eight, um, just to see how we go, and uh, we may or may not win with eight shards starting, but let's start. So this is our um, health tracker or wealth tracker and we use our guide to track our wealth as well so when we get a new companion we swap our guide out and our new companion tracks our wealth for us as well just make sure there's enough space on the screen so we're going to start at eight there okay then uh, we deal out our cards or we shuffle them up Okay, so we will uh, split the deck. Okay, so we'll set out our upgrade row first. 
So these are all of the uh, different upgrades we may have, and they could be artifacts like these two there. Oh, we've got three artifacts there um, to start with. So that's our artifacts row. You can set this up however you'd like. Um, usually um, with a bit more space, I might then put the uh, encounters row uh, next to it, but I'm gonna put it above here. So we have our three encounters and then um, turn our deck around and we dish out six um, cards to our ethereal row. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now these are elemental forms. Um, we can only upgrade to them when they're in the upgrades row. So when they're in the ethereal row, we have them upside down just to remind us, but they cost 20 shards to get into a uh, elemental form there so and in this game if you know um if you did know or didn't know spaceship in spaceship you just keep going and going and going whereas this one we actually have a discard pile and we just put that kind of landscape form down there so when upgrades come off the end they get discarded and once we um get to just uh, zero or one card left in the ethereal row, then we end up going to the uh, to the rival phase. So at the minute we are in what we call the uh, the uh, outlands phase. I think so. We have two phases of the game: one where we're trying to build up our wealth and build up our equipment and change into our form. And then we have our phase where we then try and attack the uh, rival. Now in, in the first go round, the rival will not attack us and we can't really, I don't think we can attack them either. We can only attack them when we have a um, an elemental form, okay? And so what we do in our, uh, uh, in the exploration phase is we go through our encounters here and so you see each of these cards as an Outlands Encounter phase at the top. Then you move to the Forge Encounter on the next card. And then you move to the Market Prices, the Market phase. And then the uh, cards will rotate around. So the Forge Encounter on this card will be... so in the next round. So we use the Outlands Encounter on this card and go through. And then when we move all, shuffle all the cards, this card will move to this position. So then, so we can look ahead a little bit and it's really key to look ahead to make sure you know what, you, what you're doing and what's going on. Okay, so we've, de we've shuffled, we've dealt out our cards. Um, uh, we also, we do have to beat the Dark Alchemist in uh, four goes. So once once they get their form, we can then turn the card over and then we rotate it down. And if we haven't defeated them after the last uh, round, then uh, then we lose. Or if we lose all of our health, we lose. Um, uh, and the only way we win is by defeating them. And we can defeat them. We don't have to wait till the last round to defeat them. But they, when depending on what form they take, uh, depends on how much health we've got to uh, defeat them with. Okay, so we'll start off. So we've got our torch and we've got our companion, our guide. Uh, the other thing with our essences, so we will buy and sell essences and we'll try to make a profit as we buy them and then sell them. And, and again, we can look at our cards to see our market prices going up and down. Um, but the other, another change to Lucas's previous game is that we can use the essences. So we can buy them and then actually use them. And it means we then discard them. So we can't sell them for a profit, but we can use them for their um, abilities there. So that's an extra thing. So we can heal ourselves, for example, if we buy a life essence and then we use it. Okay, so let's have a look. So uh, Outlands Encounter says you rescue a smith lost in the wastes. You may buy an artifact with, 
Oh, there, that symbol. Forget what some of these symbols are. This is with a weapon. The three shards. Gain a shard if there are none available. Go and buy an artifact. Uh, there is. We could buy a uh, an imagine hammer for three shards. So that'd be kind of half price. Um. So it says we may buy it, so we don't have to. The issue with buying this so early in the game would be we'd lose this ability. So once per turn, our uh, torch, once per turn, you may look at the back of the rightmost card in the ethereal row. What that means is we look at the back and we can see what our Outlands encounter is coming up. Okay, so that's really useful right at the beginning. So I'm not going to buy the artifact and maybe I'll regret that, but no, let's not do that. Okay, so and then comes our forge encounter. A treasure is not hidden, but it is trapped. You may take two damage to gain four shards. And if I have um, that skill, the evasion skill. So some of these little icons in here. So there's one and that's an evasion. It's like a little boot there and that's a weapon. So. These, these little icons appear various different places. So you see the torch has got the fire icon there. Um, this uh, hammer has got like a ranged one and a weapon. And forget what that one is. Crushing ability. So we see there are various different things. And if we just have a look over here, this bandit. They've got evasion there, and they've got this. Uh, this one, let me have a look. Maybe I need to open that up so I can read it better. Um, they've got piercing and things. So, so sometimes, so if I had that companion, for example, that bandit, I would only take one damage and gain the four shards. But my alchemist doesn't really have any abilities, and neither does my guide but two damage to gain four shards is pretty good. I'm gonna take that. One, two, so gain four. So that takes me up to 12, because I started at eight. Brilliant, okay. So next I'm coming over to my market prices. And so we can see here, um, the martial essence is only cost one. Um, so I've got one of those there. Life essence is cost four and radiant essence that i've got up here cost 11. i haven't got any of these shadow essences available to me so what we then need to look at is the price here so one for the martial essence if i then next round i can sell it for three and then the next round it goes down to one so i can gain two profit on it two shards profit i could buy a life essence for four and in two rounds time so I could sell it for five or in two rounds time I could sell it for six the other thing we just need to know is that we have this um, uh, statistic up here that says we can only hold two essences in our backpack as it were at a time so we can only have two at a time but let's quickly just have a look at here an elderly gnome brandishes a hexing stave against all magical beings. If you have an elemental form, either pay four shards or take two damage. So that forging counter won't affect me next go around. So that's okay. The other thing, let's use my torch ability just to have a look at my next Outlands encounter. Uh, inexperienced Hyoman set up a toll blockade near a recent rockfall. Pay two shards unless I have life essence uh, yes i have that that's that earth essence so if i had the earth form then i wouldn't have to pay the two shards so potentially have to pay two shards but remember my guide means i can swap this to the back of the row mm. so but the key thing is having um some essences in my pack will not negatively affect me if but i could gamble and see that one but so let me buy the martial essence here 
I could discard to reduce damage dealt by an encounter or arrival activation to zero, so you can kind of use it as a blocker. So I'm going to put that in my pack. Where should I put that? Uh, I'll just put it there, maybe. So I bought that for one. And then I will, I think, buy a life essence as well. Buy that for four. One, two, three, four. So I'm down to seven shards, but I do have two essences. Um, now, do I pay two shards? Do we put that at the back? Let's also... So the Radiant Essence at the minute is 11, but it goes down to 8 next. So, and then 8 again. So, yeah, I think I'm also going to put that in the back just with my Guides ability. Just to keep it up here so I can buy it. Okay, so, and I don't want to buy any of these upgrades at the minute. As you can see, the Torch and the Guide are pretty good. So, that one gets discarded move along flip this over it's the water uh, form there move this along here move this along here and flip this down okay so i don't know this outlands encounter so this one says strangely and the outlands are peaceful and calm travelers venture forth you may hire an available companion for two fewer shards than their listed cost. There aren't any available. Um, there aren't any available uh, companions, so never mind. An elderly gnome brandishes a hexing stave against all magical beings. If you have an elemental form, either pay four shards or take two damage. Don't have an elemental form, so that's okay. Now we come to the market phase. So. Now, so I'm going to sell my martial essence in there for three. One, two, three. Now, the life essence is five. If I wait again, it's six. If I wait again, it could be eight. Worth eight. So I bought it for four, if you remember. So I could double its value if I hold on to it for a little bit. Um, what's the next forge encounter? You failed to notice a hole developing in your pack. It's too late. If you have more than one essence, you in your pack lose one. Okay, so I need to be careful about what I buy. So I can only buy a radiant essence here and a martial essence. I just sold that, so I don't want to buy that. I might buy that back next time to then sell it again. The radiant essence is eight, eight seven so that's going down so we're okay let's have a look use my torch to just have a look see what my outlands encounter is a restorative spring bubbles with otherworldly heat gain two shards if you're at full health otherwise heal one damage that's good we'll uh, allow that to roll through then okay and i don't i haven't got enough money to buy an elemental form or anything like that so we will just discard that one, move along, move along. This one comes down, move along, move along. This one comes down. Okay, so, so I'm not at full health, so I don't get two shards, but I do heal one damage. Okay, good, excellent. Um, you fail to notice a hole developing in your pack, it's too late. If you have more than one essence in your pack, lose one. So I've got one exactly, so fine, don't lose it. Now we're looking at our things. Uh, Radius carrying our, um, elemental bane weapon strike without warning. Take one damage or two if you have an elemental form. Okay, so I'm going to take that next. I'm going to get that next. Let's have a look at the back of this one with our torch ability. 
rock slide barely misses you, revealing a valuable treasure. I gain two shards unless I have water uh, elements, so I'm not, so I don't. So that's a good one. We'll keep that one coming. But I will buy my martial essence back for one, because next round I can sell it for three. Okay, so put that back in my pack here for one. Okay, and now remember the rival phase if zero or one cards are in the ethereal row. So I've got two there. Um, so that's fine. So let's discard. Move along, move along. We've got a new companion there, the mercenary. Move along. Okay, so a rock slide barely misses you, revealing a valuable treasure. Gain two shards unless I have. So one, two, go up to 11. Okay, good. Raiders carrying elemental bane weapons strike without warning, take one damage or two if you have an elemental form. I only have my basic form, so I'm okay, just one damage there. And now we're on um, market phase again, so I'm gonna put. Uh, Sell my martial essence for three. So 11, 12, 13, 14. And I'm gonna sell my life essence for eight. There, double the, value, double the value on that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow, that's pretty good. You get up to... So, I could take on the water elemental form here by buying it. Now, some of these were elemental forms, aren't they? Do I want to buy so radiant? I could buy for seven and then sell for ten. Let's go. Hmm. Do I? So let's have a look. We'll go on a bit. A mindless shambler lurches in from this waste slowly, pursuing travelers. Lose an essence unless I have ranged attack. So, so that's a problem then, isn't it? Because if I buy an essence here so it's always good to see what's coming up next if i was was to buy that i would lose it next so unless i buy two essences but then i'll trigger the rival phase so do i want to so we've got the water element here so this is good for me so if an encounter or rival power would deal plus two plus damage take only one okay so that's pretty good because his actual health is fairly low he's only got four maximum health um pretty sure one of these two is gonna be another element of form let's have a look let's use our torch see what's coming up Inexperienced Highwind set up a toll blockade near the recent rock full pay two shards unless I have life um, unless I have the earth element. Again we can pay two shards but shall I buy buy the water form? I think Mm. I think I think it's worth it. I think quickly it will well it will effectively heal me for one as well. So let's so spend twenty. So it's whew, easy come easy go. Is it there? Ah, no, actually it goes here, but effectively. 
so it should just replace when you upgrade so if I was to buy the healers kit you just replace it in the rather than discard it or if I was to change my companion you just change them there so it also means that the rival won't be the water form so I've managed to change my form and this is interesting I've not managed to change my form before in the first round so that seems pretty good and I do I want to pay I don't want to pay two shards so let's put that at the back and we'll take a gamble as what's behind this martial essence here okay so move along all the bits guild loan contract okay in this one we don't know so let's have a look an ancient font of power emits raw magical energy. You may buy any number of essences for one shard less than the listed market price. So we do, we do it now, as in we use the market price here, but we buy it in, in this phase here. So mm -hmm. so you can buy right now. Yeah. So we've got this at the wrong time, didn't we? So life essence six, so I'd buy it for five. That's still a, quite a high price. Radiant essence is ten, so we'd buy it for nine, and that's uh, you know there is higher price for radiant. Eleven. I can just have a look over here. Um, we could even have a little sneaky look over here. Because we can use our torch to see this. Oh, so radiant can go up to 12. Um, while we're here, let's have a look at this. A monolith shimmers as you approach and suddenly fades. Gain one shard plus one more for each essence in your pack. Okay, so. But. We are going to trigger the rival phase in just a moment anyway. If we buy an essence, so we can not buy an essence and... Uh, and kind of keep and go for one more round or we uh, buy an essence and then we trigger the uh, the next round so um so we stay in the exploration phase mm. Could buy Radiance Essence. No, I couldn't because I haven't got enough money. <laughs> and you can't go into negative here, negative debt. Okay. Um, I could switch out and grab the loan contract. Gain four shards when you equip this, and you have to pay five additional shards when purchasing an artifact to replace it. So you have basically pay extra money so let's not because actually I could buy a radiant essence for eight next go round it but I'm not gonna have the money anyway but let's just move move on anyway shall we so discard move this along move this along fire elemental form move along move along this one that comes down, and we got one there. Okay, so monolith shimmers as you approach, then suddenly fades. Gain one shard plus one more for each essence in your pack. So I'm just going to gain one shard. Uh, oh, did I? Actually, I'm not sure why. Did the forging counter last? When this shamble lurches, lose an essence unless you have. I oh, know, so I didn't have any essences, so that's okay. We're all right did muddle up there anyway so a feral pack of beast folk are drawn to the fires of civilization take two damage if you have a torch do you have a torch uh, so one two oops okay so down to two then we're in the market phase i can't really buy a radiant oh i could if i took out the loan I could buy it Radiant Essence 
and then probably sell it for a decent amount. What we need is um, uh, to fight the um, uh, to fight the rival. We need to spend shards, and we spend uh, we spend four shards to deal one point of damage. Okay. Um, okay. So. Um, we can't attack him until he's got his form so let's we do need to build up a decent amount of shards so i think i will actually take my guild loan contract because i don't know if i ever have to pay it back if i ever if i if i keep it right until the end Will I ever pay it back? I don't know. So one, two, three, four, five. So we're up to eight shards. Okay. Now, rival phase. If zero to one card in the ethereal row, discard the remaining upgrades encounters in ethereal cards. Okay, so discard. Find the first elemental form from the discard. Okay, so what have we got? Earth. And flip this card and place it on top of the elemental form at full health. So he, the Dark Alchemist, has now got the Earth form, and this is their power. So this is it. This is if I. This is my health track if I've got it. This is their health track if they've got it. This would be my power if I have it. This is their power when they have it. Take two damage or one if your rival has three, five or fewer health. Okay, so we need to get him pretty quick, but he's got seven compared to my four. Okay, and what we do is we flip this card and then we use this card here to track the health down here and we put it over here so we can still see their power there so so the next couple of rounds so we've got f four rounds now to to try and beat the rival so we've got four rounds now to um to try and uh, build up enough shards to beat them so seven seven times four 28 we're gonna have to and another 28 shards over the next whatever before we die as well we've only got two health so potentially actually we'll buy a life essence and discard it to heal up so we shuffle in shuffle in shuffle in split okay so let's deal out our uh, Upgrades, then we deal out our encounters, then we deal out, turn it over, deal out our essences, our theory roll. Now, you deal out six, up to six in the theory roll, including what's in your pack. So this should, but here we haven't got any in our pack, so we're going to have six essences all in the ethereal row. Okay, we're running out of stable space for this camera. Okay, so this is pretty good. Um, let's just, I'm just having a look at the market phase here. Three, one, three, eight, five, six, twelve, ten, ten, two, three, two. So we could buy a shadow essence. That's the only one that makes sense, but there isn't one. Okay, so. Um, so look at our companion so the mercenary has a lot of these things like the crushing ability uh, they've got the, the 
it's a weapon. It's got this one slashing. They've got that one piercing as well. So it's pretty good. Okay, so anyway, let's move on to the next round. So a restorative spring bubbles with un otherworldly heat. Gain two shards if at full health or otherwise heal one damage. Ah, oh, that's good. Okay. Forge encounter. Guild member has more essences than she can transport. You may purchase an available shadow or life essence for half price rounded up. Okay, so uh, there aren't any shadow essences, which is a shame because we could have got one of them for one. But we can purchase a life essence for four because half of eight is four. So uh, let's do that. It makes sense because then we can immediately sell it in the market phase. Because remember, this is the forging counter, not the market counter. So buy that for four. Okay, now we come to our market prices. And so there's no point buying the Martial Essence. Um, could buy one next round. No point buying a Life Essence. No point buying the Radiant because they're all at kind of top of the price, top of the range prices. So what we will do is we will sell our Life Essence for eight. So four plus eight is twelve. Do I want to buy the mercenary for six? It's not helping me with our healer's kit. But remember, I do have to pay healer's kit. Whenever you are healed, increase healing by one point. Seeker's satchel encounters and rival powers cannot cause you to lose essences from your pack. Okay, well, the rival power doesn't cause me to lose essences anyway, but it takes two damage, so I need to really have a go at him first. Okay, so I um, don't think it's per turn. See, now my guide's power isn't so useful because I don't have the torch to see what it is. So it says once per turn you may move the rightmost card in the ethereal row to the left and the ethereal row. So I guess if I wanted to keep something in the row to buy it next go round that might work. So um, but in this term it doesn't really matter. So let's move on. Market phase. Yep. And so now I can't check what's going on there. So we're going to have some surprises now. Okay, there's my torch back. Although it did make me lose health before, didn't it? If I had fire, you see. So it's not necessarily great to have that. Move everything along. Now let's have a look at my Outlands encounter. Crystal. Vipers shed their highly valued and delicate skin. Gain one shard for every empty space in your pack, unless I have water. <laughs> so I do have water, and I haven't got any essences. Uh, empty space in my pack. I've got five empty spaces. So actually, we didn't see that. So the water element can hold five things, but I can't gain five shards because I have water element. That's a shame. Uh, now I'm on three, aren't I? Raiders carry an elemental bane weapons. Strike without one and take one damage or two if you have an elemental form. My thing here, if an encounter or rival power would deal two plus damage, take only one. Uh, two plus. Check. I think so. That's kind of I would say that's two and more. So let's just take one. Take one that. Let's have two if I have an elemental form. So I would take two, but 
I've got my water power here. If I'd be dealt two plus damage, then take only one. So I'm going to take one. Okay. And then moon our prices here. So I am going to. So we've got so the marshal. I can flip a couple of profit. Life. I could. I could buy it fairly cheap and then use it to heal myself up. Um, potentially going to take two damage from from them. Or I can hold on to it and sell it for two, but that seems. And Radiant is still 10, it's just going down in price. So, what I can do actually, let's buy two martial essences for two. two. And. Let's then. Don't want my torch back, do I? It's pretty useful, but let's should I buy a life essence and then use it up? Hmm. No, let's keep it for now. I could buy one. I still got one over here. So I don't want the healer's kit. I don't want the mercenary. I don't want nothing. So let's move on. Discard. We've got the Magentine hammer. So, a monolith shimmers as you approach and suddenly fades. Gain one shard plus one more for each essence in your pack. So I actually have two, so I gain one, two, three. That's a 13. Okay, good. Doesn't usually go this well. A ravenous troll wakes up from a long hibernation. Take two damage unless you have fire. Okay, so uh, if I didn't get dealt two plus damage, take only one. So I'll take one damage and definitely down. Need to buy an essence and heal up the three. Because I'm down to one health here. So now let's sell and sell. So both three each. So that's six. One, two, three, four. Six up to 19 shards. Let's buy a life essence for six here. Okay, and back to 13. And then discard it to heal on one, two, three. Okay, so that's what I did. So I bought the life essence and then discard it to heal up to three points of damage. Okay, so. Discarded again. So do I want to buy radiant? No, but and here we go. This is where my guide could come in. It's 10 at a minute. And when we move around, it will be nine next go and then 12 the next. So if I could buy it for nine, I could sell it for 12. Okay, three profit. So I am going to use my guide to move that to the back. Okay, martial essences. I'm not going to be buying anytime soon. They're a bit pricey. Do I want the Magentine hammer? No, it does have range and crushing, but I don't want it. I don't think. So let's move along. Got enough. I've got quite a lot of shards there to fight against my rival. Okay, let's have a look at this. Curse bent birds dive from above, searching for food and energy. For each essence in your pack, lose either two shards or take one damage. 
don't have any essences in my pack, so don't lose any damage or shards. Brilliant. I have not been looking ahead at my forge encounters. And uh, Initiant Cleric offers to heal your wounds. You may spend up to three shards to heal damage equal to the number of shards spent. Ah. So I should have read ahead, shouldn't I? Whilst we're here, let's read ahead. Okay. Solve tree is blooming here. One point of damage unless I have fire. Okay, so... It's okay. Um, so now I want to buy... Ah, but if I buy that essence, oh, this is where I should have been reading ahead because I could have, rather than buying it for six and then healing three, I could have healed for three by just spending three. I've got to always look ahead. Um, so, if I buy the radiant essence, there'll be one left so we then go into the rival phase and reset anything but nine is a decent price i'm gonna look through my discard pile here mm, no it's still fairly high so you can get eight, eight and you can buy it for seven so let's Use discard to reduce damage dealt by the encounter or rival. So I'm at full health. So I don't mind encountering the rival. What's next? I can heal for one point. Do I want to buy any of these? No. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, the air form there. And this comes down here. Let's read here. Outland encounter an ancient font of power emits raw magical energy. You may buy any number of essences for one shard less than the listed market price. Huh. Well, there's only radiant essence there, and it's at its highest price. So I won't be doing that. Salve tree is blooming. Heal one point. Um, we've got that. And then market phase now, and I don't want to buy any of these. So. If your turn ends with one or zero cards in the ethereal row, as you can see, it helps you out all of the instructions on the cards here. Uh, discard all the cards in the upgrades and counters in the ethereal row, then activate your rival's elemental power. Okay, and then you may then spend four shards to deal one damage to your rival as many times as you can afford. If you bring them to zero health, you win. Otherwise, rotate this card down one number and reset for your next turn. If this card was already at one instead of rotating, you have lost the game. So, they're at seven. So, discard, 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 and discard. So, it's me against them. At a distance, but remember it says activate your rival's elemental power. Take two damage or one if your rival has five or fewer health. But remember, if an encounter or rival power would deal two plus damage, take only one. So I'm gonna take one damage because I'm water yeah, earth. Okay, now what I need to do is spend some shards to uh, to fight them. So remember, it is four shards to deal one point of damage. I can do it as many times as I want and can afford. If you take your rival down to zero health, you have won. If the time was at one and the rival still has health, then you run out of time and lost. So I'm gonna hit them for four, uh, hit them for one point of damage. So. 13, 1, 2, 3, 4, down to 9. Okay, I'm at 3. So that takes them down to 6. I think. So I want to keep, so, you know, because I need shards to buy more shards, to buy essences, to trade them, and all of those sorts of things. So I will spend another 4. Do them another 
point of damage. So it's down to five now. Okay, could do one more. Then I might struggle to get my money back, get enough money to move on. So let's rotate them down. Okay, so they're now at three. Let's shuffle up my cards. deck okay and deal out the so mercenary seeker satchel healer's kit and no different encounter row and then my material row one two three four five six six okay next off we go again so an ancient font of power emits raw energy you may buy any number of essences for one child less than the listed market price uh, so these are all expensive not seeing any shadow essences am i look here's all my shadow essences down here that would have been good so no don't really want to buy anything there because well, could buy it and then flip it for for one shard, I guess. Get one shard of um, uh, so let's buy a, so half rounded up. So the marshal essence be two. So let's buy it for two, one two, and then we'll sell it in the market phase for three. Uh, a guild member has more essences than she can transport. You may purchase an available shadow or life essence for half the price. Round it up. Oh, no. Again, didn't look ahead because I could have bought the life essence for four and then sold it for eight instead. But I don't have enough money. I've only got three. So, silly me. Okay, so market phase. So I am going to... It's not worth buying anything, but I will sell my martial essence back for three of the six. Okay. Uh, yep. Do I want any of these down here? No, I do need to I'm only on three health, that's okay. Oh, what's my next forging counter? A feral pack of beast funk are drawn to fires as if it take two damage if you have a torch. I don't have a torch, so that's okay. Uh, do I want to keep the radiant essence up there? Ten, seven. Mm. Do I want to just move it to the back? Mm. No, maybe I'm not shuffling very well. All my shadow essences aren't appearing okay a torch again oh crumbs okay so okay uh, outlands inexperienced hymen set up a toll blockade near rockfall pay two shards unless i have a life form or the earth form don't have the water form, so pay two shards. One, two. Feral pack, take two damage if I have a torch. I don't. Now let's have a look. Again, I can buy the martial essence for one. And then in a couple of goes time, sell it for three. But what's here? A regenerating wind, a rejuvenating wind blows across the outlands, carrying a sound. Sounds a distant battle. Gain one. Available martial essence or heal one point of damage. So that'd be good so I can heal one. So let's buy the martial essence here for one. And I don't want any of these things. Remember, I need to pay an additional five if I want to buy something down here uh, or an artifact anyway. Not a companion. Hiring a companion won't cost that. The hammer again. 
Okay. What have we got here? Blood moles burrow up from the ground drawn to powerful energies. Take three damage if you have 12 or more shards. No, I don't. Only have three shards. Phew. Rejuvenating winds blow across the outlands, carrying the sounds of distant battle. Gain one available martial essence. There isn't one. Uh, or heal one point of damage. So I heal one point. I'm back up to full health again. And here. I can buy, no I can't, <laughs> but I could sell, so if I wait around I will, let's have a look, hopeful scholars pay you for your secrets, gain one shot of each point of damage, you are below full health, okay, uh, if I buy uh, life essence I can flip it for three profit, my current martial essence I can flip for Two profit. So let's sell that for one up to four and buy that for four. So down to zero. Okay. Move along, move along, move along. Ah, so see sword of siphoning. This is has he has a power heal two damage each time you damage your rival. So that's quite good as a artifact because every time I damage them I can heal myself so let's have a look restorative spring bubbles up otherworldly heat gain two shards of at full health otherwise heal one damage okay so I am at full health so two shards one two brilliant Hopeful scholars pay you for your secrets. Gain one shard for each point of damage you are below full health. Well, I'm not, so I don't gain any shards. Now we are selling. And again, oh, if I hold off. I bought that for four, didn't I? I can take five for seven. Hmm. Sell it for seven or wait another round. And sell it for eight. What's here? Raiders carrying out elemental pain weapons. Strike without warning. Take one damage or two if you have an elemental form. So we'll take one. I need if they I want to come on the other side. Uh, so, but that's not losing any essences. So I'm going to hold on to my life essence. It's gain that one extra shard. Potentially. Yeah. So the bandit as a companion. Remember they've got evasion and they've got piercing. Okay. So what's my outland encounter? A crystal vipers shed the highly valued and delicate skin. Gain one shard of every empty space in pack unless you have water. No, I have water, so no good to me. Even though I had four spaces. Raiders carrying elemental bane weapons, take one damage or two if you have an elemental form, but mine's got the water form, so I only take one. Now we can sell my life essence for eight, up to ten. There. Okay. Uh, Now if I buy anything, that will trigger the end game, or trigger the rival phase again. So, I won't, because there's nothing that worth buying, buying a martial essence for two isn't necessarily very much point, so it's kind of in the middle of those values, so let's move on. Who have we got here? Oh, we've got the alchemist. You can't buy the alchemist back. You can't take your basic form back again, unfortunately. Even if you wanted to, where well, you wouldn't want to anyway, really. But, so, Outlands Encounter Curse. Spent birds, die from above, search for food and energy for each essence in your pack. Either lose two shards or take one damage. I don't have any essences in my pack. Brilliant. Forge Encounter, Ravenous Troll wakes up 
from long hibernation, take two damage unless I have fire. So I would take two, so I take one. And again, I could. No, I need to keep my shard stone tank because I need to attack. I do need to attack the rival and then keep some money back. So we are going to discard. Go into the rival phase. I do need to make sure I shuffle properly next time, don't I? So rival phase, they would deal me two, no, they're at five anyway, so they only do one damage. I'm down to one. I have 10 shards, so I can hit them for one more damage, four. Do I whack them again? No, we'll hold off on that. So we rotate them down. So that four now. Four health, but we went, we only got two more rounds, so now if I that's a good thing with these button shy games, when you got a few cards, so doing a little deal kind of shuffle. We'll uh, shuffle some up and doesn't take too long. So, ah, the mercenary again, here we go. And the Satchi could Satchel. Again, my two shadow essences. Oh, and the alchemist is there. Okay, well, maybe there will be some essences up here. If they, oh, nope. I haven't seen any shadow essences, have I? Goodbye. Okay, Outlands Encounter. An experienced hyman set up a tile, pay two shards unless I have light earth. No, I don't, so pay two shards and down to four. A treasure is not hidden but is trapped. You may take two damage to gain four shards. If I have evasion, I only take one damage. But I can't afford to take any damage, can I? So, and there's no life essences either. Okay. So I've only got, yeah, so what's this one, a rejuvenating wind blows, gain one marsh less, or heal one point of damage, so I'm going to heal if I don't get hit by anything else, so market prior phase, so I'm going to buy two martial essences, or oh, I could buy three because I've got one, two, three. Because then I can sell them all for three each. There, so I gain two on each of them. Profit of two on each. Uh, discard, discard, move along, move along, move along. Let's speed this up. Oh, we got a healer. At the start of your turn, you may pay one shard to heal one point of damage. Maybe worth having the healer. The guide isn't helping me so much. When you, once you get rid of the torch, the guide isn't a massive help because you're just kind of gambling. So let's have a look at my outlands encounter. A start of spring bubbles up with otherworldly heat. Gain two shards if at full health, otherwise heal one damage. Brilliant. Okay, up to two. And then rejuvenating wind blows in across. Gain one available martial essence or heal one point of damage. Yes, excellent. Up to three. Market phase. I'm going to sell my three martial essences for three each. That's nine. So up to ten shards. Okay. Hmm. Now remember, if I buy I know, the healer, a companion, I can swap out without paying back my loan. Uh, let's have a look at this. Radius carrying elemental bane weapons. Take one damage or two if you have an elemental form, but I don't always take one because I'm in water. So, uh, do I want to keep the radiant essence? Ah, oh, yeah, it's really ch cheapish. 
it'd be cheaper next. So let's move it to the end with my companion. Because then I can buy it there and then sell it for 10. Buy it for six, sell it for 10. So move along. Healer's kit. Here's my Outlands encounter. Crystal Viper shed to her skin. No, I can't take advantage because I'm a water form. So you can see if you play multiple times, there's lots of replay value because if you're a different form or you take a different form, you can get different, you know, take advantage of different encounters and things. So raiders carry an element of weapons, take one damage. Okay. And here's my thing. So I can buy radiant essence for six I'm gonna buy that for six oh, let's just have a look when the straw wakes up from long enough to take two damage unless you have fire but I'll only take one so I'm gonna go down all again I could die in my kind of the exploration phase right so do I need maybe I can buy the Recruit the healer, but I do need some points. I obviously need some shards to fight the rival at the end of this encounter phase. Curse bent hurt. Birds die from a path search for food and energy for each essence in your pack. He will lose two shards or one damage. So I know I'm going to take another damage. So going to lose two shards I think oh, look, we've got some healing coming up in a minute Ravenous Troll wakes up take damage Arr. can sell my Radiant Essence for 10 that takes me up to 13 okay Take the healer's kit, but then I'd have to pay back. I could take the healer. Let's let's hire the healer for five, I think. So thirteen take away five is Eight. Okay. Um, so it says at the start of any turn, you may heal one point of, pay one shard to heal point one point of damage. Let's pay one shard there just to heal one, just in case. I know I'm going to get another heal here. So, uh, well, actually, I should have. Probably waited. This is the start of my turn, really, isn't it? So, do that, yeah. Okay. Uh, acidic fog drifts across the path and leads you from your strength. Lose three shards unless I have. Is that air? Is that the air icon? Yes. So, I don't have air, do I? I have water. Three shards on. Two, three, down to four shards. Salve tree is blossoming today. Heal one point of damage unless I have fire, so I can heal one point. Go up to three. Okay, so. Again, if I was to buy one of these, then that would trigger the rival phase. Guild member has more essences than she can transport. You may purchase an available shadow or life essence for half the price rounded up. So the next forge encounter isn't going to make any difference to me. Although it would have been really good because I would have had really good prices. Uh, let's just see what the next Outlands, in Outlands encounter brings up. I'm not sure I'm going to make much money between now and now. Ancient 
kitchen font of power emits raw medical energy you may buy any number of essences for one shard less than the listed market price no i can't because there's only radiant essence left so i could buy it for eight but i only have four so nope let's uh guild members more essences you may purchase available shadow of life essence nope uh, I'm not wanting to buy any of these from the bandit. Don't want to heal. Now I need four. So, go into the rival phase. So, um, what we do is we discard all of our cards. They hit me for one damage. I hit them. No, I am. I am going to hit them for one damage. And they tick round. And so in the last round, I need to. So I've got no shards. In the last round, I need to be able to gain at least 12 shards to. not shuffling these properly. Right. Torch. Guide. Okay. Shadow Essence and another one. Hallelujah. Okay. Outlands Encounter. Restore to spring bubbles up with otherworldly heat. Heal one damage. Good. Okay. Forge Encounter. Hopeful scholars pay you for your secrets. Gain one shard for each point of damage. You are below full health. I am one point of damage. I'm at three and I have full health is four. So I'll get one shard. Okay, Ben and the poke in the eye. And here we go. So, martial essence is a. Uh, I can buy for one. Radiant essence is, I can buy for eight. They're usually, but I haven't got. <laughs> I haven't got one, eight. So, let's. What's the next? Take one damage or two if you have an elemental form. So, I'm going to take a damage. Let's. Buy a martial essence. Don't know which one. Buy a martial essence for one. I'll sell it next go for two or hold on to it for three. Um, not buying any artifacts, so let's move on. Mercenary again. Never had that opportunity for that shadow essence. Let's move these on. Outlands. Inexperienced hymen set up a toll blockade near recent rock for paid two shards unless you have earth. I have no shards, so I can't pay anything. So I'm just going to say, I've got nothing. Can't pay anything. So, got away with that. Take one damage from the raiders. And now I can either sell my martial essence for two or hold on to it and sell it for three next go round or the next go round let's just have a look at the next forge encounter rejuvenated wind blows across gain one available martial or heal one point of damage so i am going to move on i'm not going to sell Encounter here. 
curse bent bird dying from above search of food and energy for essence in you for each essence in your pack either lose two shards or take one damage so i have got no shards to lose so i will have to take a damage rejuvenating spring so i could gain a martial essence or heal one damage i'm only on one but that'll be three straight profit what's the next heal one point of damage in this so i'm gonna heal on point next forge encounter so i'm gonna take that and then in my market phase i'm going to sell those two get up to six so i've got half of the half of the shards i need to defeat my rival shadow i can buy shadow essence could buy a couple of shadow essences and sell them Let's buy a couple, yep. So four. Okay, let's have a look at my Outlands encounter. An ancient font of power meets raw magic. If you buy any more. You may buy any number of essences for one shard less than listed market price. So I may as well buy. So we can buy martial essence for two. I have two, so zero. I can carry up to five. Uh, heal one point. From the solve tree and then so i can sell now what order do i want to do this in so let's sell a shadow a marshal and then a shadow so sell the marshal essence for three the shadow essence for another three and then the other shadow essence for another three so i'm up to nine okay i need to gain three more shards get to 12 because I need four need to, there's only on four more health okay this is gonna be close so discard move along move along move along flip move along move along flip okay hmm You accidentally spring a hunter's trap. Take one damage unless I have evasion. Uh, no, I don't have evasion. So I'm taking one damage. A feral pack of beast folk are drawn to the fires of civilization. Take two damage if I have a torch. Fortunately, I don't. Was I'd be dead. Now we're looking at. I don't think I'm gonna win here. Uh, Forge encounter. So the next Forge encounter, you discover a bandit hideout. It seems to be unguarded. Game one shard. So I'm gonna get another shard. But if I buy one of these, it's going to trigger the rival's phase. I could buy the shadow and then sell it for two, but it would trigger the rival's phase. So we are struggling, and I'm only at one here as well. So I do need to heal up, because otherwise I'll die. But I think I'm not going to win. So, oops. Let's move on anyway. See how we go. See what the next encounter brings, but I'm not too helpful. I'm hopeful. Okay. A 
Acidic fog, drift across the path and leech you of your strength. Lose three shards unless you have wind. Oh, there we go. Huh. So, one, two, three, down to six. Gain one shard, back up to seven. think we are done for so not sure there's anything I can do so what we're gonna do is we're into the rival phase I think uh, I'd better spend a shard to heal I should have done that looking at my turn but there we go um, I'm down to six shards. So we discard. Discard, discard, discard. Discard, discard, discard. And discard that as well. So we are in our final battle. So he hits me for one. I'm down to one. I can only hit them for one it's down to two and then because this is my last opportunity so we have lost the game okay so great game there from uh, Lucas, as you can see, uh, had we started on beginner, we would have had two extra shards potentially. Who knows what that might have made. Uh, but this is Button Shy's new game fantasy form. Uh, it's live on Kickstarter at the minute. If this is after the Kickstarter, then uh, you hopefully you should be able to get it on the Button Shy website. But uh, Luke made a great game, really enjoyable, good fun, a solo, good adventure. Uh, maybe I need to learn how to shuffle cards. Uh, but otherwise, thanks for watching, and I'll uh, see you in the next video. Take care.